Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 12. So in chapter 12 we're going to learn uh, things about sequences and series. Um, so we're going to learn about what a sequence is, how to list terms, how to find a general term of a sequence, like a formula for it. We're also going to learn some details like factorial notation and summation notation. All right, so let's look at the definition of a sequence. A sequence is a function whose domain is the counting numbers. All right, so that basically means the sequence is just a list of numbers or elements. They don't have to be numbers, they could be colors. But basically, you name each term in the sequence. This is the first uh, term of the sequence, the second term, the third term. So they're associated with the counting numbers. Uh, so they'll have like a subscript. Okay, so in a sequence, you usually you list numbers in curly brackets. So I could have numbers 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. All right, so this is a finite sequence where it stops. You can have sequences like 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, dot, dot, dot. That's an infinite sequence. It means the dot 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 means it keeps going forever. So this is called finite. And this is infinite. Usually you give them a name, like you can call this AN. This is this sequence. And BN, this is another sequence. So those are names of sequences. Right? So each term has a subscript. So like A1 is 5. A2 is 7 a3 is 9. So that 1, 2, 3, the subscripts tells you the location of the term in the sequence. The first term is 5, the second term is 7, the third term is 9. So like a is the name of the sequence and the subscript tells you which term in that sequence am I talking about. All right? Okay, so the general term of a sequence is found from the formula for writing the nth term of the sequence. So the general term basically means what is the formula that gives me any terms in the sequence. All right, so let's look at some examples. Uh, so an example to 12.1 here, we are given the equation of the general term of the sequence and we want to list the first five terms. Okay, so we have a n equals 4 n minus 3. So we want a1, a2, a3, a4, and a5. Right? So those are the first five terms. So basically it's like a function, the sequence is a function, where we plug in the counting numbers. We plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, however many we want. Here we just want the first five. So n gets replaced by these numbers. So these are, n is like x's. You plug in an x value to evaluate the function. We have 4 times 1 minus 3 gives you 1. 4 times 2 minus 3, 8 minus 3 is 5. 4 times 3 minus 3, 7 minus 3, uh, sorry, 12 minus 3 is 9. 4 times 4 minus 3, 16 minus 3 is 13. And 4 times 5 minus 3 gives me 20 minus 3, which is 17. Okay, so those are the first five terms in the sequence. We can list them with the curly brackets. You say a n equals 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so this is like the general term gives you a formula for it. And from there, you can write the terms out long. You can list the terms starting with the first one, and you can keep going how many you want. All right? 